welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to do a brief video looking at the panel and Cinnamon. Of course, the we're going to look at the newest version of Cinnamon that is in the 21.3 release. And uh, somebody asked about how you can do the adjustments. Now, I read the email a couple more times, and I'm not sure if he's referring to going back to how it was before they pinned things. It sounded like he was, but I'm not 100% certain. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to customize the panel on this really any way that you want. And so for me, I like the old traditional like circa Windows XP uh, era, Windows um, uh, Vista or 7 era where I had a quick launch bar. I, I was able to see everything on the panel. That's just the way I like to work. I find that most efficient for my particular workflow. Some people like the more modern way it approaches things, but you can change that back and forth between a lot of different things. And we're going to go ahead and jump over to a freshly installed Linux Mint box just to have a look at how you can do all the different things inside of the panel. So over here on Linux Mint, let's go ahead and first we will have a look at the, um, uh, the system to see which version we have here. Let's see. I can never remember. Is it information or is it about? <laughs> I think it's system information. So you can see we're on Cinnamon version 6.0.4. And that is where we are at. Now, it used to be when you go into the first steps, one of them asked you a question. Do you want the more traditional panel or did you want the uh, like the, the newer type of panel? They have dropped that. So you're effectively stuck with this as your option. Of course, the way it works is everything is kind of pinned or if you start something new, uh, you don't say, see any other indication that there's a new application there other than uh, on the default theme, the little blue line underneath it. And if you do that or if you toggle this, click the button, it's just going to toggle it between minimized and maximized. That's the style I don't like personally. Now, that's perfectly fine depending on what you want, but I like doing things a little bit different way. So I'm going to show you how to do all the different things. We're going to start by right clicking on the panel. And the first thing I'm always going to do is I'm going to find in here, we will find a launcher. And somewhere in here, there it is, it's panel launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and add a panel launcher to the panel. Now that this adds it down here on the uh, right side of the panel. Let's go ahead and hit panel edit mode. And this is going to allow me to drag this guy over and drop that over here. Okay, so now we have panel launchers. And let's go ahead and um, come out of panel edit mode. So now what we have is we have things pinned to the panel here and we have a launchers over here. Now note that every time I click the launcher button, it will launch a new window uh, of that instance. That's the way I like it to work. Again, you might call that different. You might say, well, you can just middle click. Well, I might be on a laptop that doesn't have a middle click. You know, there's reasons I'm doing it the way I want to do it. I want you to be able to set up your Linux Mint the way you want to do it. That's perfectly fine. Of course, in this, I believe we should be able to drag something directly into here from the menu. So now that is also now pinned to the quick launch bar, not pinned to the panel. And you'll see that as an application launches up that is not on the panel, you'll see it appears over here. Um, but if I close the application, it now disappears from the panel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make some adjustments to this guy here. And to do this, we need to right click on any one of the icons down here and go to your applet preferences and configure. And this is really where those changes are done. So here is your panel, uh, your panel buttons. Here's your thumbnail options, your context menus. So what we're going to do here is if we look at the button label, I'm going to turn on the application name. And then you can do show window count number. We can do enable button dragging. This allows you to move things around back and forth like that. So the next thing what we're going to do, uh, let's go ahead and boot this guy up. Let's see if that will give me the name, which is terminal. But you'll see as you close it, it creates this giant mess. 
So this is where what we're going to do is uh, let's degroup the applications. This way, if we have multiple instances, they're not all locked together. And then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, move around the some of the other settings. So in here, what we're going to do is we can just start by looking at what each of the actions are. So what do you want your left click action to do? Do you want it to cycle windows? Do you want it to do nothing or toggle the last activated window? That, of course, is going to turn this up or turn it down. Middle click action, this is uh, close the last. You can have a launch a new instance. You can do the middle click does nothing. Uh, but mostly what is our issue over here is that things are pinned to the panel. So if you right click unpin from the panel and we're just going to go ahead and proceed to unpin everything from the panel. So now nothing is pinned to the panel, but things are opened up. And so now each instance of this is going to open a new instance. Nothing is going to be grouped together. And then you can get to each of these as a separate uh, separate instance uh, in each panel preference. So that is how I like to personally set up my panel. Now, you can do a variety of different things. Of course, note that everything is here is quick launched, not pinned to the panel. And that really is the secret to doing this particular view. So it just starts by opening up that, that panel preference. We're going to just go ahead and give it the name, or if you want something else, you can do something else with it. Let's go ahead and do, uh, let's look at the thumbnail options inside of here. So if you hover over something, you'll see that thumbnail. That's actually is another option that you can adjust. So inside of here, inside of your configure, you might have seen that over, uh, over here. I believe it's under is it thumbnail, I think, or is it under panel? Uh, let's see. Might might be under thumbnails. They, they did move a couple things around here. So here's your show thumbnails. So I can turn that off, in which case it'll just give me the name. And if you show the thumbnail, uh, you can do your thumbnail size. So you can toggle those to smaller or larger thumbnails. So you can see the size of those individual thumbnails. I actually generally don't care for them at all, but I'll just usually keep them on with the with the minimals. Now there's some other options that you have in here. So you can click to show the thumbnails. So if you want the thumbnails, just if you click, you can do that. You can set your delay time. You can animate everything. Um, and then you can do hover peaking to uh, show the window when hovering over the thumbnail. So that's what this does here. So you can do a number of different options. Uh, the context menu is this is um, uh, show recent items, auto start options, and apply monitor. Those I think those are new. I don't remember those being in there before. And then here you can set some hotkeys for cycling through. You'll see they're unassigned by default. But that really is your, your case. So the two things that we looked at here is in your panel, you can right-click add applets. The first thing we did is we launched the, the launcher bar. And then the second thing we did is we configured the uh, we configured the grouped window list. That is what this guy is down here. Is the grouped window list is what it's called. So just click on this guy here. We'll give you the settings, and that's the same uh, panel setting that we had. So using those two options, you should be able to do anything. So if I wasn't completely clear about what the overall question was. Uh, hopefully that helps out. But again, you can get rid of the quick launch bars. You can do pretty much anything in here that you want. Of course, Cinnamon still gives you the option to come in here. You can right click. You can add it to the panel. Um, I think, let's see, if you add it to the panel, I'm not, not sure if that pins it or if that, uh, let's see. Yeah, so adding to the panel now pins it. It doesn't add it to the quick launch bar. But to add it to the quick launch bar, you just drag it into the quick launch bar and then you can drag it wherever you want inside of there. So hopefully that clears up how to uh, get this guy working here. And uh, with that, uh, 
Also, I hope that we help somebody out here with figuring out a little bit better how to use some of the Linux Mint features, particularly in the new panel, since there have been some changes in the uh, 6.5 version. You can also do things like change the icon sizes and things like that that's inside the panel preferences and stuff like that. So there are a lot of fun things in there if you just dig around a little bit. So with that, thanks for watching. Let me know other tips that you want to see on Linux Mint in the comments down below.